Welcome everyone to another unboxing video today. I'm your guys' host, Dakota Morgan, coming to you from Phoenix, Arizona. Friend of the neighborhood podcaster, a comic book writer, animal caretaker, dinosaur enthusiast, video game streamer, and tour reviewer, all sorts of jazz like that. We are here with another dinosaur unboxing video for you today. I know we've done a few lately that are, that are not, and this is an older guy that I found at a collector store. Reasonable price. Sort of rare, actually, too, anymore. This is the from the Fallen Kingdom line. The attack packs for Jurassic World. Uh, really, really sought after figure from back when. Has had a repaint as well. He's been blue. This is the original one. I only got this guy for like $13. And I was like, you know what? I really want to take this guy out, do some photography with him. I'm probably going to get the Beast of Mesozoic line, too. But I really like this guy as well. The Protoceratops from the Ceratopsian uh, genus. A really, really cool looking figure, I think, as well, too. It really fits into the Jurassic motif and colors and stuff. But let's, before that, though, make sure you guys subscribe for more dinosaur unboxings, toy unboxings, and all that jazz like that on the channel. Or, you know, video games, podcasts, and all that jazz. A lot of free content, you know. Subscribe for that. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below of a dinosaur maybe you want to see us unbox. Or maybe a toy or something like that. But, yes. And, of course, on Twitter, at DakotaMorgan3. Instagram at Dakota underscore Morgan 97 and Twitch Dakota Rex 97 So yeah, let's get into this guy here um, Some people will yell at me probably for opening this one up But I don't really care because maybe I want to do some photography with them I got a bunch of new figures I want to go do with so yeah, let's take a look at the guy here. This is the back we have the Proceratosaurus. It's right here in the middle here. We have of course here uh, Proceratops and then a Mimi as well and kind of sword family Tyrannosaurus, I believe, and this is the Tyrannosaurus family, but he's been seen in a lot of Jurassic stuff as well. Uh, of course, he's you know, made in China, Universal stuff here, some of the Jurassic backs have a steel back, which I think is kind of really cool here, and kind of some tech stuff right here. This is, obviously, this is Mattel's attack pack from the Fallen Kingdom line, something really, really cool. I, I always wanted, like, I could never find him, ever, ever. I was really glad to be able to find this guy here. Um, <laughs> part of me doesn't really want to open this, but part of me does. So, let's get right into it, shall I say. Let's get right in. Of course, oh, before we go, of course, attack pack, posable. I really do like how he looks in here for the attack packs, especially the older ones. New and older ones, because we've done new ones on the channel, is the background of volcano exploding here. It kind of looks like a cage, to say the very least. Here we got orange and blue. We need more Claire, though. We got cage as well, but we're going to see a lot more cages, I think, this year with the Dino Escape line. This is going to be cool. Let's get it open here. Easy, easy open. To say the very least, your name plate. I'm not really going to use that for anything. Come on. Eh. Oh, that ought to be loud. Eh. Meh. And the Protoceratops. Oh, wow, he really does have good articulation. Let's see. Let's lower the camera for you guys here, and let's get a deep dive on the guy. And the Ceratopsian family, oh, it's a little too close. And the Ceratopsian family here, so they are right. He's very posable. His tail, if you want, for an unknown reason, if you if you want to do this here. But you know what kind of stands out to me to me though on this guy is the colors. You know, he's kind of this baby blue green ass sort of color here that's different from a lot of the dinosaurs. And then he's got the yellow to mix in. Just really, really stand out against the blue. Maybe green, blue, something along those lines here. Um, this guy is a very small dinosaur as well. So the fact is he really, really lines up with the human figures nicely. Or about uh, yay tall, I believe, along the lines there. So he really, really, and compared to the other Ceratopsians, he's really small. So it really works out. And here we have really, really good mold. Take a look. We got here. So fins in the back. A rib cage kind of showing on um, there. The bottom kind of has some like black speckled as well, which is kind of neat. Now the uh, scan the Dino Fact sheet, of course, our little Jurassic logo on there. I miss the JPs on the side though. I really, really do. Oh, I'm an older fan indeed. And yeah, <laughs> the finger does not. The frill does not have it on the top. Only on the sides of the yellow. Nice, nice little touch there. The beak is colored, which is nice as well. Got some really cool articulation details along the beak there. The eyes kind of blend in a little bit for me, though. If you see with the blue 
green and then you just put it as a green in there if they were like a orange or a yellow eye i think that would stand out maybe not yellow but an orange eye but even red would stand out a lot better in there we have a nasal cavity up in the upper region there as well which is a really good sculpt detail um the feet and the legs on here as well too and the little serrations on there so they're really 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 neat the nails are not painted but not all nails are going to be painted. That's just a thing. <laughs> this is a super detailed. On the horns in here are not painted either on the side, which is still okay because it kind of really stands out with the yellow along on the sides there as well. Overall, though, a really, really cool little mini figure. The Protoceratops. One who doesn't get as much love as she deserves. Yeah, look at that. I mean, perfect for dinosaur photography and stuff like that. Uh, this guy you can really pick up, I think, Sort of for cheaper online now, I want to say. I don't think as much. Some people are charging a fortune for them. Some people are not. You just eBay, Amazon as well. This, this is the older line. Oop, not the camera. This is the older line and such like that. But really, really worth the price of admission for this figure. Great job, Mattel. Always wanted it. And finally got it. Thanks, everybody, for tuning into this video. And, of course, for more little stuff on here, subscribe to the channel. And, yeah, folks. Comment down below, what's one that maybe you wanted to get from the line that you never got? I'm really curious to hear from you guys, because from the Fallen Kingdom line, Sukumimus is still on my wish list. Either the blue or the brown repaint, either one. And without further ado, folks, stay creative, everyone.